Hello, I'm Andrew Krumi. I'm delighted that my novel's getting published in Serbia uh, in these strange times that have, have certain advantages for readers and writers, I suppose, since we have time for a bit more of those things. Um, I'll just read a very quick little bit of the novel just to give you a feel of it. Uh, there's a young uh, piano student and her uh, teacher is giving her a piece to play. Try this, he says, handing her some photocopied sheets. What is it? she asks. A slow movement by someone you've never heard of. Take a minute, then start whenever you're ready. He gets up and stands out of her view while she picks up the single line of the opening. It's a peculiar melody, a sinuous curve in the right hand, punctuated by unexpected angles. She supposes it to be a theme that will be developed or varied, but the following full chords introduce a new, unrelated idea. The harmonies feel wrong. She's sure she must be making mistakes, but he lets her continue. She passes through flashes of beauty, transitory episodes of rich sonority, set among formless progressions of bewildering complexity. And then the single line reappears, only this time it's different, the corners have moved. Stop there, he says gently. What's your opinion? I couldn't get it. I'd need to play it a few times. When do you think it was written? There was something in it that reminded her of Messian. 1960s? Go back 50 years. Pierre Clara was a student at the Paris Conservatory with a great future ahead of him. Shortly after writing this, he shot himself. A man who's talented, confident, yet he's about to commit suicide. A contradiction. He shows her another of the photocopy sheets. You see what he called it? The secret knowledge. The secret is why he killed himself, she asks. The secret is the music. I want you to learn the piece for next time. Keep hold of the confusion. Don't try to resolve it. Art is always inconsistent. Well, thanks. Good luck and all the best. Bye-bye.